In today's video, I'm going to be checking out the Visit2 S3 Pro Smart Mug. This smart mug pairs directly to your smartphone via Bluetooth, which can then be controlled via the app. Or if you prefer to control the temperature without having to connect to your smartphone, you can always use the touch enabled button directly on the mug to cycle through the different temperature settings. This will enable you to enjoy the great taste of your drink at a temperature that you want wherever you are, even without your smartphone. In this video, I'll be doing an unboxing, going over the setup and app, and then we'll take a look at it in action. In the interest of full disclosure, the S3 Pro Smart Mug was sent out to me for my honest review. All opinions in this video are strictly my own. As you can see, the box has minimal branding and only has the basic information about what's inside the box. Once the box is open, the presentation of what's inside is well laid out and definitely has a gift vibe to it. Included in the box, we have the user guide, a lightweight wooden spoon, which should come in handy in preventing the mug from getting scratched, the charging coaster, a USB-C charging adapter, and of course the S3 Pro smart mug with a BPA-free lid. The mug is currently available in two colors, black and white. There are some slight differences between the two. With the black smart mug, there's no visible branding located anywhere on it, whereas the white mug does. The second difference being the spill-resistant lids that come with it. The white mug comes with a push-pull slider, while the black mug has a slider. The mug's body is made of a double-layer vacuum stainless steel and is coated with a food-grade ceramic paint that can keep your drink heated between 86 degrees and 149 degrees. According to the tag that ships with the mug, the built-in battery could keep hot drinks warm for about 4-8 to eight hours, and 1-3 to three hours if you're looking to heat up cold drinks. It's also IPX7, but is not made to be held underwater for extended periods of time. The mug seems well made and is aesthetically pleasing. Its slightly curved handle can hold up to 3 fingers perfectly for a comfortable grip. Towards the bottom half of the mug is where we have the temperature bar. This is where you'll go to see what your coffee mug's temperature is set to. As I mentioned earlier, you can adjust the temperature directly on the mug using the touch sensitive button. Each time the temperature is modified using this button, the mug will gently vibrate to let you know that the temperature has been changed. Around the same button, there's an LED light which will tell you the real time temperature of the liquid inside the mug. A blue LED light means that the temperature is less than 95 degrees. Orange, it's between 96 and 122 degrees. And red light means it's greater than 122 degrees. On the very bottom of the mug, it has a rubber trim to prevent the scratching of surfaces. This is where you'll also find the power button to power on the mug. After pairing the mug, the app's homepage will allow you to easily navigate the available options. You'll be able to view the current temperature of the mug, as well as starting and stopping the heating process. To adjust the temperature on the mug, drag the slider in the target tile to your preferred setting. Any changes you make here will reflect directly on the mug in real time. Just below the target tile, you can set your temperature preference to either Celsius or Fahrenheit. And to the right of that, you can check out your battery status. Under recommendation, you can choose from any of the edible pre-configured heating options based on your preference. While using the mug for some time now, I can say that the mug is able to maintain the temperature quite accurately. Using a temperature sensor, I was able to see that the mug was able to maintain the temperature within a couple of degrees of what the sensor outputted. In terms of how the battery held up, when using the mug with a hot beverage and setting the mug to 149 degrees, the battery lasted about an hour and a half. Using it with a cold liquid and setting the temperature to 149 degrees again, the mug was able to only reach 130 degrees within 59 minutes before the battery died. Now, if you're selecting a lower temperature to maintain, you'll more likely be able to extend your battery life. And if you have your charging coaster close by, you should have no issues maintaining the temperature for longer periods of time. If you're interested in purchasing the Visit2 Smart Mug, all the links will be available down in the description. If you like this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.